Yeah, so good morning. Uh, here we have say simple two questions. Again, based on depth of penetration, see the depth of penetration, the depth of penetration or skin depth, both are same or skin effect. You can say skin depth or skin effect or depth of penetration. They are just same. The depth of penetration of electromagnetic wave in a medium having conductivity sigma at frequency of one megahertz is 25 centimeter. The depth of penetration at a frequency of four megahertz will be, yeah, this is asked in gate. It's a very simple question. So you have 6.25 centimeter all the way uh, to 100 centimeter. So let's, let's knuckle down to solve it. So, see, the depth of penetration of EM wave in a medium having conductivity sigma at a frequency of one megahertz is 25 centimeter. It's asking depth of penetration at a frequency of four megahertz. Yeah, it's it's just as simple as as simple as this. You see, I know very well uh, in a conducting medium, whatever uh, delta is. I know whatever delta is equal to one over alpha. So <clears throat> I know alpha is equal to in a high loss medium or uh, conducting medium. Alpha is equal to omega mu sigma by two. Okay. So I can say, uh, because with this I know delta is equal to two over omega mu sigma, okay? It's nothing but two over, omega is two pi f mu sigma. So therefore you have delta is equal to one over pi f mu sigma. Square root. So can I say delta is proportional to one over square root of f? I can say this, delta is proportional to uh, one over square root of f, okay? So once we confirm this, now just go to this, okay? So at a frequency of one megahertz, you have uh, uh, 25 centimeters, okay? Now when frequency is increasing, he's asking what must be the skin depth? It's obviously less than this. Because I know at high frequencies, uh, skin depth will further decrease. And that is evident from this relation, okay? From this proportionality condition. So I can say uh, straightforward having said this. So now I can say like Delta two say over Delta one is equal to, I can say F one over F two to the ratio. So this is given to you. This is also given to you. So what is given to you is this. So delta two, we need to find. So delta one is given to you as what? 25 centimeter. And F1 is given to you. That is one megahertz is given to you already. And he's asking at four megahertz, what happens to delta two? So delta two is equal to one by two multiplied by 25. So 12.5 centimeters. Yeah, so sometimes you can expect these simple questions in gate examination. This is gate question. So 12.5 centimeter, it is asked for one mark. Okay, so maximum take 10 seconds to solve it. The correct option is 12.5 centimeter, option B. Okay, let's go for second question. A material has conductivity of 10 to the power of minus two mo per meter, means very low, and a relative permittivity of four, epsilon r equal to four, sigma is equal to 10 to the power of minus two, simon per meter or mo per meter. The frequency at which the conduction current in the medium is equal to, is equal to the displacement current is. It's a very simple question. So sigma is given to you and also Epsilon R is given to you as four. He is simply asking the frequency at which the conduction current in the medium is equal to the displacement current is, okay? So you have 45 all the way to nine, 900 megahertz. Okay, what happened to this? Okay. So therefore, I don't save it. I go for our next one. <clears throat> all right. We go back. Okay. Uh
let me take sigma is given to you as 10 to the power of minus 2 mo per meter is given to you like this or i can take this one as 10 to the power of minus 2 simon per meter okay both are same and the relative permittivity so that is epsilon r is given to you as 4 okay the frequency at which okay conduction current in the medium is equal to displacement current is so first of all let me take down this conduction current density should be equal to displacement current density the frequency at which of these two are equal in the medium so therefore i know uh, jc i take its magnitude jd let me take its magnitude so conduction current density is, is nothing but this is ohm's law left hand side it belongs to ohm's law sigma e okay and this is jd is equal to what here so jd is equal to i have uh, displacement current density is dou d over dou t or dou p dou t d so i just take in phasor form if i take in phasor form i can take a dou by dou t as j omega so j omega d is equal to epsilon e so epsilon e all right so i take its uh, magnitude so of course e is ruled out so magnitude of uh, j something is that's that something itself that means so you have sigma is equal to yes omega epsilon so you have this if i take its magnitude you get omega epsilon of course e and e these two are ruled out anyways so i know sigma is equal to 2 pi f 2 pi f epsilon so therefore f is equal to i know uh, sigma over over what um, 2 pi epsilon so this is nothing but sigma over 2 pi epsilon is epsilon not epsilon r so yeah i can do a little a simple choto mathematics i multiply and divide by 2 so this is 2 pi 4 pi epsilon naught epsilon r okay so yeah now you tell me i know very well i think you have learned this in coulomb's law because you have something like coulomb's constant k is equal to you have like 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught okay and this is nothing but 9 times 10 to the power of 9 this value is this okay because i can take so epsilon naught you have something like 8.85 10 to the power of negative 12 farad per meter or uh, that one i can uh, write it down like this 1 over 36 pi into uh, 10 to the power of yes 1 by 36 pi into 10 to the power of minus 9 so epsilon is equal to that and you just plug in that epsilon here you will get this one 9 times 10 to the power of 9 so yeah <clears throat> so therefore 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught so this ratio is equal to means you can simplify directly i'm just helping you out you know if you don't have any calculators so how do you find things that fast okay so i'll i'll find it here so two so what is sigma given to you so sigma is given to you 10 to the power of minus 2 mo per meter so 10 to the power of minus 2 mo per meter so 2 10 to the power of minus 2 divided by uh okay one of, of course you have this one 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught is nothing but this is nothing but 9 10 to the power of 9 divided by epsilon r is given to you as 4 so if you solve it you must get 45 megahertz okay that's it so the correct answer is option a 45 megahertz this is also a previous paper question okay so sometimes you can enjoy these uh, simple problems in gate okay uh, that's it <clears throat> thank you thank you for today have a nice rest of the day.